Welcome to That Davis Show. I'm Kenneth Davis, also my co-host and partner in crime, Ryan Bukovsky. One, follow me at That's Davis. I apologize. It's been a minute since I've done this. Uh, follow Ryan and Ryan B. Ski one and Ryan B. Ski and Ryan B. Ski one on Instagram. See, it's it's been a second. Um, and look at Ryan's dog, 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 doggy in the back. What's the dog's name, Ryan? Chunk, pig, Chunk. fatty, ugly. I mean, fill in the blank, but around those lines. Ugly? You call your dog? Uh, does the dog have a name? Chunk. Chunk is the name. Okay. That's the official title. I'm closer. I'm funny. It's close. I'm closer to getting my dog sooner or later. <laughs> I, fi- I figured. <laughs> what I kind? Figured, I, um. It's funny, real quick. So Afton uh, Mitch asked me, and I was like, she's going to ask me because she knows I'm home by a lot by myself, even though she works home occasionally on Thursdays. Um, so uh, it was a um, – what, what kind of dog was it? It was a husky that was on – someone was trying to sell. But we were like, mm-hmm. God, a hair. Uh, but I've always did want a husky, so I don't know if I'm going to end up getting a husky. But I'm heading down that road soon where I may find like it. Re- have a dog get the English kind of... bulldog. We can build a clan. That's the problem. You have one. He's, got, has the... one. Yeah, he's got the old English, though. Oh, Fine, get the what's French. The you can go the French. Uh, they're a little bit different. I'm not exactly sure, but the old English is like I, I want to say an older version of the breed, and they kind of did some crossbreeding, and now this is like the new. So will that dog get would that dog get as big as these dog? No, he's pretty much maxed out right now. Damn. He might get just a little bit bigger, but pretty I need much this big. is his size. I would need two dogs if I had that little dog, which I think I'll tell you what that's the sneaky, bit, that's the sneaky thing. I, I'm really gonna end up probably going to because I don't want my dog to be lonely. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I get that. So, man, and you gotta do it early before they get territorial and that kind of sneak stuff. It, sneak that in. All right, anyway. But I will say this. This girl mm-hmm. I was seeing for a brief minute, like way back earlier in 2022, she had an English bulldog. This thing was a horse. Like you would have been like, what? Like I would, it was probably around 100 pounds. And like mm. not just like a fat, roly poly, 100, like actually fit frame 100 pounds. Mm. Like it was like, that thing has to be mixed. I couldn't believe it. Or maybe I'll give me a boxer. Yeah, you go American Bulldog. They're bigger than the three. I don't know. French I'll investigate English. that. I'll investigate that. I don't know. We'll, we'll do more dog talking in later podcasts. Yeah, we've uh, got podcast, insect talk. Yeah, we definitely good one. We got insects discussion, and we're talking about uh, the new Marvel movie, which will be coming out tomorrow, Friday. Uh, Ant Man and Wasp: Quantum Mania. Um, this will be uh, the first movie where we get a a long part of Kang the Conqueror played by Jonathan Majors, which we know there are going to be many iterations from different worlds of Kangs. Um, So this is just one. We met one of them in Loki. Um, And it's funny because you asked me and Tony had asked me in studio this week, was I excited to see Ant-Man and Wasp Quantumania? And I told him, no. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to go see it at the show or not. I do like the actors. Um, what's the lead? Who's going oh, real quick? I, Paul Rudd. I think, uh, Paul Rudd is pretty funny. Um, look at us. Look, yeah, look at us. Right. Um, so uh, that's what I think. Actually, from, just look at us. Right. I think, I think he's really good. Um, and I think the movie franchise is pretty funny. It's just, I'm kind of tired of some of the quirky Marvel movies for the time being. And also I'm ready for them to kind of move off of these characters that we've been with for the last decade now you own a lot more of marvel's commodities when you're talking about mutants and x-men it was trying to force inhumans down our throats because they didn't own the x-men and all those franchises now let's push some the avengers off to the side for a little while and let's start to especially i was thinking this too for like new generations of kids coming up like they don't need to see part eight of captain america you know what i'm saying like just like you discovered Iron Man, uh, some people will call him a B character. I, I was always in love. I always loved Iron Man. But you saw what Robert Downey Jr. could do with a character that you usually don't see get movies when it comes to comic book movies or whatever as far as Iron Man in that series and how well it did and how it helped propel the, every phase, basically, 
uh, that Marvel had come out had, had this come out so far. So for me, I want to see mutants. Like I mean, I'm I'm my favorite Marvel comic book is the X Men because I always felt like a Ken being black and them being mutants. Um, so I want to see that, and I mean, I want to get into that story lane. And of course, you can evolve some of these people that we've met, but I'm just I'm kind of tired, and I don't need to see these stories for a while. Bring them back, um, particularly if you need to and if it makes sense. But I'm kind of like, let's push some of them off, especially with DC seeing them like they may get it together in a minute. So that's how I feel. How do you feel, Ryan, about uh, Ant Man Wasp Quantum Manium? Are you excited? Do you plan to go see it? And how do you feel about the series? Um, series, I'm, I'm like you, I'm kind of, I'm kind of good on the Ant-Mans. Like if you want to be a part of the larger whole Avenger movies, great. You can, and I'm kind of with you with like that, where if you want to continue on Captain America or something like that, just for example, have it just be a part of the Avengers movies, not its own standalone that will connect loosely into an Avengers movie. And just kind of maybe try some things out. Like I think my excitement level is purely for Kang and what he could potentially be as a as a massive super villain kind of of the Thanos breath. And I, I mean, obviously, like everybody, I think universally, Infinity War, Endgame, those are probably like the favorites or the the tops, just because it kind of closes the story and it's the the ending kind of thing to Thanos. Obviously, you know, maybe other people prefer other movies, but why that was so great was the epic conclusion and all the buildup finally getting there. So I, I guess I'm excited for the start of the buildup, but I'm kind of like you, like that's already been done. Like that's going to be a right. lot of movies. That's going to be a lot of fatigue. I hope they do do it a little bit differently. Like Thanos, especially early on in those movies, was a scene or a hinted at kind of thing. Maybe starting out with Kang being like an actual like person that you're dealing with from the start. That's going to be, maybe that will be fresh in itself. Plus um, the, the, the different iterations of him, because we, I think we keep thinking about it. Like it's just Kang. No, this is Kang from different dimensions or different times, but however you want to view it, we're going to meet different Kang. And also the character Kang in the comic book has was other characters too. All right, like he, I forgot one of the main, he was a big, another big time character um, in, in Marvel. It's skipping my brain right now. I'll look it up as we're talking. But uh, yeah, and I'll say this too, and you, it's something that you said. After Captain America did that bullshit that he did at the end of the, 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 the last series and went back in time and didn't fix nothing, but only selfishly took care of his own lust. The um, Cap right? is a bitch episode. Like, yeah, you could, could, you, could you save MLK maybe? You know, that's not asking a lot. <laughs> Right, so I'm like, no, nah, I'm just coming back for my wiener, for my loving, right? Um, <laughs> I pay my dues, I pay them. Okay. Right, you, you, you. I ha but look, ha real, did he really? Because I mean, dude was no. on ice for so long. He only was awake for like seven years, if we include the, the, right. the snap, right? So, but anyway, you, you, you have Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man is gone. Um, unfortunately, Chadwick Boseman passed, so and they put that into the canon. So we have to wait. I mean, I know Shuri is the new Black Panther, but you get what I'm trying to say as far as perhaps where that could have. It's, it's like a lot of finality to the point that you were saying, and it's like let's have a clean break. You know what I'm saying? Like let like you're smart. You you've proven smart enough to know what to do with an assortment of characters that some of us know and love and some people don't know whatsoever, but you pull them in and make them interesting to people who aren't necessarily comic book fans. So you don't have to keep beating a dead horse going back to the well. I'm sure, of course, Spider-Man is going to be around because he's young. I, I kind of view him as being the next Tony Stark character. I think Holland's going to be the next person when the, whenever it ends, ends, that probably gets whacked. And that's how they'll bring in maybe Miles Morales at one point. It, not to say that they'll wait to bring in Miles because he could come from a different, just like the Spider-Man animation movies from Sony that Sony puts out. Um, but still, it's just, to me, it's time. You know what I'm saying? It, it just makes more sense. You finally have the X-Men and all, all like, you, oh, you got, I'm just saying the X-Men, we're talking about Magneto. You're talking about Apocalypse. Like, you have all of those super villains over there. Mr. Sinister, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have so many other people that you can kind of hi hype up as far as, oh my, look, I mean, think about how now that Marvel has Magneto, 
how they're going to do Magneto. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, not to right. say that Sony did it terribly at all, but now right. it may be even something, even something darker. And I know it's Disney, so perhaps, but you get kind of what I'm saying. Like, they may find the depths that sometimes Sony didn't really feel like, as a, a comic book fan, pull, pull it out of the storyline as well as we've seen um, them do with Marvel over here with Disney. You know, one thing I was thinking about. They should really kill off Ant Man in this movie. Like yeah. that would be a tone setter to like a brand new fresh start. I'm with you. Like we're talking about, it would set a new tone of pacing because they're obviously going to piece together scenes and build this thing, sort of like the first or the last phase. So I I would say you want to really like kick things off. How about like. Kang taking down Ant-Man and some kind of something where that leads later on, like a great sacrifice, sort of like Iron Man type thing. Like that would be, I think, uh, a good tone setter for a brand new face. Um, also, real quick, he does, it seems like from the commercial that he does die, but it's he keeps happening over and over and over again. It seems like you saw the you see his mask broken up and and it, it Kane kind of references like I'm gonna kill you now, and he's like, yeah, kind of like you've done it before. It seems like so. I I do think he dies. I think the question will be, will he remain dead after yeah. this um, thing? So Does one, it... he appeared he appeared as as Rama Tut in um in the October 1963 Fantastic Four, um was Kang's first appearance as Rama Tut, and then. He was also uh, he appeared as Kang in 1964. Just to, and that was really cool. I didn't know about that. That has yeah. me a little excited. You could have some villains specifically against specific characters where it's like, oh shit, that's Kang. Like right. they could do some fun, creative stuff with that. But really quick, do you does it bother you that this is getting like not so great reviews? I feel like part of it is just the fact that. They might be going to the well a little too much, and people are like, "I, I don't know, I'm just yeah, it works, I, but yeah. you're kind of doing." Yes, it. I'm saying yes. They need to do something different. They need to show us different characters. This we've done this now, you know, and like we we've we've climaxed. You know, yeah, what we've I'm seen the Ant Man against the villain that's going right. to be the big storyline. Right. It's you need. It's just. It's it's time to do something different. I mean, listen, uh, Disney's going to make billions and billions and billions and billions and billions more money off of Marvel. Um, even if they mess this up, they're still people are still going to want to go see the movies. They're still going to be able to sell the toys. So, but, I mean, and, and the question will be, how can they get it back on track? And I, I think at one point they will. And I'm just saying that this is messed up. Uh, not just this movie, but just to say for several movies moving forward where it's not as entertaining, or as you said, this is the third Marvel movie to get a negative rate and a Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I believe rating. this is about like uh, I don't think that it's been five yet. I want to say this is okay. the third or fourth rotten out of all the Marvel movies so far. Okay, so look, I, I just think like also, and this is a flip, it seems epic, and you've mentioned it. We had to wait to see. Thanos, we'd see him get out the chair, which if anybody read the comic book, that was something that Thanos ever had to leave him. That was a flying chair, too, though. He had to get out the flying chair. Oh, watch it. Watch ass, right? Don't suck like your mama. <laughs> like, don't make me get up. Um, but it, it, they're showing us this early, and we see how spectacular it is in the quantum realm. But I think this feels like then we just do this already with ending off Thanos. And I'm sure they're going to differentiate them. T t uh, greatly it's not going to be the same but i just think it's um exhaustion you know what i'm saying yeah, from the, from the, that, that from the epicness true. from the it's like the, you can only give us epic like that, that you know that beat or uh, that or that score be like da, 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 da. you can't just do that all throughout a movie all the time I'm like all right, yeah, I'm, right, I'm, right. I'm tired all right okay I, right. you know like you can only raise me up and lower me down right you can't just and it's like just give us give us a break uh give us something different and again like i said earlier there's so many characters that you can bring to life that there's characters that are big characters that i barely know if i do know since i don't i haven't read comic books really consistently in, uh in like the last 25 years at least you know what i'm saying like yeah um, so. and you bring up a great point 
Like, I'm really excited at the idea of the multiverse and how you can maybe real like, you can make a standalone, like, I know it's it's DC, but I like just saying it, like a standalone Batman movie, like what they're going to do with, um, oh man, I'm blanking on Edward from freaking mm -hmm. um, Robert Patterson. Oh man. Robert Pattinson. So you could do a standalone, but then it doesn't connect to the Justice League storyline and my everything Batman would be different the same. Yes, you mentioned him. Exactly. My Batman hashtag my Batman Twinkles. I've but never watched those movies. Really, I've seen bits of them because uh, I just wasn't doing it back that long time ago. But I loved it because I loved his Batman. My, so my like I say my Batman Twinkles. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Please continue. No, you're good. Um, what I'm worried about is what you just kind of said. They have this multiverse, and they're almost like making it a 2D thing where it's like the ball goes here and it comes out here, rather than you could do a lot of crazy, cool, creative stuff. And it kind of feels like, oh, we're just gonna, you know, start off King like we did last time, and we'll kind of just do everything like we did last I, time. I don't think they're going, you know what? Verse. I think the thing is that we'll see that there's gonna be Kings that are better Kings. And kings mm -hmm. that are worse kings. I want to see where they form an alliance, a true alliance or a lasting alliance with the king, but they're going to be different kings that want different things. You know what I'm saying? So we'll, that'll be the interesting thing. And, and Jonathan Majors is a well enough actor to really pull that off. Um, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. Is there anything else you want to get in here before we get up out of here? No. Let's see uh, how good it is, right? How good it is. Hey, we're back. You're gonna. We're back over here for real, for real. We're giving you more stuff. We're talking sports. You know we got the Bears and the draft the free agents coming up, so we're going to start hitting you with some of that. Uh, but we're also going to revisit some of our old topics and just, you know, shoot the shit. And hopefully you, you know, spend a little time with us. We always enjoy you spending a little time with us around. I always appreciate you. You be safe out there with everything that you have going on. And uh, everybody, be safe out there. And uh, definitely we look forward to you joining us a little again a little bit later.